Greetings and welcome to my Wednesday ramblings. Having completed the previous message series, naming our vision, and the, the vision, as I think I mentioned last week, but it's Kingston Channel Catholic Parish, a vibrant Catholic community fed by the Eucharist, empowered by the Holy Spirit, going out to make disciples. That's our vision. Not a vision statement, but our vision. And uh, as we proceed, we'll gradually build on that to make it into a vision statement with uh, goals and uh, targets for us to actually work towards. And we've started that discussion already. But it's now a new series. And this new series is Living with Power. As the disciples begin their journey, especially as, the, as Jesus calls 12 to be his apostles, we're told that they were given power to go out and to cure all kinds of illnesses. And they were sent to speak about the kingdom, uh, the coming kingdom of God. They were reminded of how they were to live and what they were going to be called to be part of. Now, that's going to develop over the next couple of weeks. But it's an interesting spot today to start with Jesus giving them the power. But before he does that, we're told at the end of chapter 9 of Matthew's gospel that he saw the crowd and he felt sorry for them because they were harassed and dejected like sheep without a shepherd. I wondered, and I wonder in my message this weekend, whether when we hear that gospel passage, our thoughts are immediately to the need for more priestly vocations, when in fact, I think that the Lord is actually calling each of us to recognize our own baptismal vocation, that by baptism we are already called to be missionary disciples. We are called to be witnesses of God's love in the world. And instead of waiting for priests to come forward and to lead the people, I think Pope Francis is inviting us and recalling us to the notion that we are all the people of God, and that because of that, we all have a vocation to be shepherds. Just think about that for a moment. Parents are shepherds to their children. Teachers are shepherds to their pupils. When we work, we frequently are called to mentor and shepherd somebody who is new to the job. And most of us, I'm sure, if we stop and think, we can recognise that there have been men and women who have shepherded us as we've journeyed along life's pathway in order to prepare us for what we're called to do and how we're called to be. So I wonder whether waiting for some magical group of people to spring up and suddenly be priests and religious. We need them, yes, I don't deny that in any way, shape or form. But is that the gospel message? Is that the kingdom that Jesus is inviting us to be part of? A, part, a kingdom which in the past has failed because it was too clerical and the loss and the people, the laity, all of us have missed out on our vocation as sons and daughters of God. If we go back to the first reading from the book of Exodus, God says to the people, you are a consecrated nation, a priestly people. So I pray that as we journey into this weekend, we too will accept the challenge of being people who are, in fact, a priestly people. And rather than waiting for ordained priests to lead us, we might recognise that each one of us is called to be a shepherd leading God's people into a knowledge and love of our God. Have a great week. Look forward to seeing you next time on my Wednesday ramblings.